Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, trend update. Quakes in various places, May 2016. Uh, the scripture reference is Luke 21 verse 11. And there will be great earthquakes, and in various places, plagues and famines, and there will be terrors and great signs from heaven. And that is a quote from Jesus directly. Now I get the sense we're going to be revisiting this verse for plagues, famines, terrors, and great signs from heaven. I mean, there this particular verse, you could make a complete study out of this with the vocabulary. Um, especially with the word terrors. That's the word uh, phobotron. It's where we get our word phobia. So, only time it's used in the Bible is by Jesus right there. Uh, there are parallel passages regarding earthquakes by Jesus. Uh, Matthew 24, verse 7, and Mark 13, verse 8. And the context of this discussion is the Olivet Discourse, and Jesus is uh, answering questions from the disciples regarding the signs of his coming and the end of the age, and that's from Matthew 24. Um, in the book of Revelation, there are at least seven references to earthquakes. Uh, the beast of all earthquakes takes place in Revelation 16, verse 18. And there were flashes of lightning and sounds and peals of thunder, and there was a great earthquake, such as there had not been since man came to be upon the earth. So great an earthquake was it, and so mighty. And the re end result of this earthquake is Revelation 16, verse 20, and every island fled away, and the mountains were not found. So, put that in your pipe and consider that for a little while. No more islands, and no more mountains on planet Earth. That's what that verse is saying. Um, that is significant geographical change, to say the least. Uh, no more islands, no more mountains. So we fast forward to now, May 2016. And earthquake activity has picked up in the Holy Land. Uh, as of May 15, quakes have been noted along a fault line running from the Red Sea up through uh, Israel to the north. So in Egypt, along this fault line, there was an earthquake of 5.1. And in southern Israel, there was an earthquake of 4.8. Uh, if you're curious about that, check out the uh, Jerusalem Post, jpost.com. Keywords, light earthquake, measuring 4.8, southern Israel. Um, also, just in general, seismic and volcanic activity seems to be picking up around the globe. Uh, new activity, four volcanoes between May 4 and May 10, 2016. And that brings that up to 19 active volcanoes during the week. And then on May 16, five volcanoes erupted on the same day. Um, even Uncle Sam and the federal government has scheduled a preparedness exercise scheduled for June 7 through June 10, 2016, and it's called Cascadia Rising. And the focus is the Pacific Northwest of the United States. And here's an opening paragraph from FEMA. A 9.0 magnitude earthquake along the Cascadian subduction zone, the CSZ, and the resulting tsunami is the most complex disaster scenario that the emergency management and public safety officials in the Pacific Northwest could face. Cascadia Rising is an exercise to address that disaster. So why are they doing this? Why is the government, I mean they think it's enough of a factor that they're going to commit a bunch of resources to the area and practice this. <clears throat> and if you're interested, you can go to www.fema.gov forward slash Cascadia Rising 2016. And by the way, if you're interested, Oklahoma continues to be the most earthquake prone in the United States. So if you're interested in these topics, uh, please feel free to check out www.paulthepoke.com keywords, trend update, earthquakes, and appreciate you guys listening. Thanks a lot. Bye.